Hey ladies, so this is going to be my everyday foundation routine tutorial. Uh, if you're somebody who has some acne and some kind of scarring and like leftover marks from acne and stuff, this might be helpful to you because I have a lot of those same issues and I have to work with, you know, covering them up daily. So this is the after. And I have scarring here and here and here <laughs> and here and on my forehead as well. And they do a pretty good job of covering up. I've kind of had to like master the art because it's either that or walk around with like purple like spots all over your face. So um, I hope you guys find this helpful. And if you have any questions, totally just ask them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start by pinning our hair back. So we get it out of our face. You kind of want to be able to buff foundation into the hairline. So clips, whatever you want to use, bobby pins, uh, these, like duckbill clips. I'm going to use both because I can't find another duckbill clip. Okay. So, hair out of the face. Alright, now I'm going to take my foundation. Um, I've already applied moisturizer. Uh, I'm going to just, and I don't use primer, but if you do, this would be where you would put it on. Uh, I'm going to use my All May Clear Complexion Makeup. Um, it has 0.6% salicylic acid and it's supposed to heal blemishes and I wear it in the shade Naked but uh, it's almost finished and I think when I repurchase I'm going to buy it in a shade darker okay so I'm going to just put it on this sponge because this is how I do my face makeup I know a lot of people don't like that they like to use brushes brushes are kind of time consuming I used to use them I look for quick and convenience when I do my makeup now because my time is very valuable I don't have a lot of time to do, I like to sleep in, I'm in college, so I like to sleep in, and uh, if I have a class at 8.30, I sleep until 8, I give myself 15 minutes to get ready, and then I go to class. <laughs> so you're just going to buff into the hairline, so your skin color looks very cohesive. Um, I also like to pat my foundation in and under the eyes, and I bring it up to my eyelid, and my um, eyebrow. Need a little more for down here. When using a sponge, though, you want to make sure that you're not leaving streaks and that you are blending everything in really evenly. I just need to get a little more foundation. My bottle's like running out, so this is a little bit of a difficult task. I'm going to put some here. A little bit on my nose, a little bit here. And just work on the jawline area now. <sighs> Bring it down to your neck. Once again, we're looking to blend and make it look like a cohesive skin color. Don't forget to kind of get it on your ears, too. Okay, so we've covered up most of my blemishes with this. You can still see through it because I put a very thin layer on. This foundation tends to look cakey if you put too much. So you want to really be careful. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just grab my concealer. It's the concealer from the same line, the All May Clear Complexion. Uh, this has 1% salicylic acid. So it's got a little bit more. And um, I wear this in light medium. So I'm going to pat it under my eyes. It's a dope foot applicator, so... I'm going to do it like that, and then I'm just going to pat it with my finger. You don't want to rub, you want to pat. Although I will say, sometimes when I'm in a rush to do my makeup, sometimes I do rub under my eye, which is bad. But figure if I don't do it all the time, it's not that big of a deal. I know you see I have some eyeliner on. It's like left over from last night. I couldn't get all of it off. And then I was too lazy to keep trying. Now I'm just going to cover up my spots, um, my problem areas. I have a lot of those. I'm kind of like a Dalmatian. I kind of like to do these videos um, <laughs> because, like, you guys get to see, like, what it is that I'm really talking about. Because, like, I sit with full face makeup on camera and talk about skin issues and everybody's like, but your skin is so nice. But it's really not. It kind of gives me a chance to show you guys that not everybody's perfect. Okay, so now I gotta get under this eye. So 
Okay, next step, now that you've concealed, uh, is to apply your pressed powder to set. Um, you could use a loose powder. I personally use a pressed powder. Uh, and I use Almay's TLC, the Truly Lasting Color, and I wear it in light to medium. It's got SPF 12 in it. I like this. Uh, it's very thin. I, I see I've hit major pan. I have to get a new one. Um, I like this because it kind of adds a little bit of color to my face, even though it's light medium but it looks really good over the foundation. And I'm just putting, um, applying it on my face with the, uh, MAC 187, the mini one from a collection. Um, one of the little sets. But, uh, I often use my Ulta highlighting powder brush, which is like this, just bigger, and not as, like, dense. You can use whatever, though. I just feel like this gives me kind of a natural look. It comes crashing down, comes right in corner. Okay, so now that you've set your foundation, and don't forget to kind of put it on your neck. Remember, we're blending. Okay, okay, guys. So that's it. That is my that's my face makeup. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do contouring and highlighting and blush. I'll show that in a different video. But this is just kind of how I cover everything up. Um, I think it's a really important skill to kind of master because you don't always have perfect skin, uh, but we can fake it, right? So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you found it really helpful and I will talk to you later. Bye.